Oh, be honest, you couldn't spell it either before this video came out. Nerd soul. Late ill kid at one youngster holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd So What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, coming with another wonderful episode of Talk Shop This Right. We're getting into some comics, and today is a celebratory day where we're gonna be talking about a very cool, um, how should you say horror? How should you say comedy? How should you say fun? How should you say lighthearted, but also very creepy at times? anthology and a book called Cthulhu is Hard to Spell. And this comes to us by Wannabe Press that also did Monsters and Other Scary Things. It was really cool, I reviewed it last year. Just different takes from different creators, different styles, different writing paths and you know character development throughout with this anthology feel that gives this a, a very lively look, a very weird look, and a very distinct look at just horror. And in this case, we're talking about Lovecraft. Now, there's two things that I picked out to kind of preview just a little bit because you guys have one day left to get yourself a copy from the Kickstarter at the link below. But if not, trust me, the Kickstarter has already already surpassed this goal so you will be able to get a copy just holla at russell nolte or you know want to be pressed holla at one of them they'll hook you up so let's get into the believer which i enjoy as an interesting look at history uh you get this this man that is going through a ritual and kind of giving you the undertones of how this god has reacted to man and you know the earth's inhabitants as the years and as history has gone on. And you get this just fun and funny look sometimes and also sometimes gruesome look at how history has turned out for men who have turned their backs on this God. Uh, I think this book is, well, not this book, this story inside this book is very well drawn. I love the, the livelihood in the eyes of the dead characters and the alive characters. I also like the links to the past and the links to, you know, what our history has done, the links to, you know, different plagues and different, you know, horrors of humanity uh, and tying and pulling from that and putting it up in front of us for this nice little monologue that we're given because it gives us a looming threat and it also shows this, this ritual that is being prepared before the end of the story and I really enjoy it. It's, it's just, it's nice to have. And I got put onto it by the creator of this particular story, Christian Douglas. Also big shout out to Claudio Sanchez Viveros. I'm pretty sure I messed up your name, I apologize, but these guys created this story and I just like a, a nice kind of narration of history sometimes, especially with like the creepy, you know, the creepy supernatural aspect. I really enjoy that. So that's one thing that I really dug. Now after the break, we're gonna get into another story, but this is the kind of stuff that you're gonna be getting into, very similar to monsters and other things, but this is more focused on Lovecraft style. So anything, if you love Lovecraft and you love, you know, what what pretty much the the world that he set forth, these are different, you know, takes on different stories, different creatures that I think are really cool. So right now we're going to pause for the cause to holla at those so we can pay our bills. Oh, yeah, check that link below, hat, shirts, hoodies, all that jazz, and once you find something you like, of course, cop it. Now, let's get into the second story that I wanna preview for you guys. It's called The Call of the Stone. This one in particular is by Shannon Kirkland, and what stood out to me very, the, the very first thing that grabbed me is the look, the art style, the direction of this character design and the world that's built in it. It's so starkly different. Uh, than anything else and they all revolve in their own little you know planes of existence and stuff like that but this was just it was in a weird place of very cute 
and very creepy at the same time. And you follow this young lady who may be on the life or the dead side of our world. And just seeing her navigate and her try to attain a goal, try to figure out why she's here, what she's here for, is a very interesting journey for her, seeing her eyes opened to a world beyond. And this is a world beyond where she can be a hero, where she can be a savior, where she can be completely obliterated, I guess you could say, or consumed by evil. And there's just so many options given in this and this calling that's on her, on her life, on her heart, on her spirit is something that helps drive this story. And I just really dug it, man. I thought it was a lot of fun to see this. I thought it was a lot of just, just interesting and intriguing ways that they put this forth in this nice little vignette that we get. Um, of course, guys, if you like the art from uh, True Believer, or I mean, sorry, The Believer, if you like the art from The Call of the Stone, any of these or other pieces in this anthology, definitely check that link below, holla at Wannabe Press. This is another anthology that I think is really cool and something that's just fun to have, especially if you're a horror fan. If you if you like something that can go from the tone of very creepy to very lighthearted, this is another book for you. So holla at me, I'm gonna holla at you. Down in them comments, we get into that time around Halloween, it's time to get a little, a little creepy, a little scary. Let me know what your favorite scary story is. And until then, I'm gonna tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. Don't forget to get one for them play ads. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. So, LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And please be good to yourselves. Please. Be good to each other and remember, never, ever, ever open the closet when the lights are off. Peace.